Now, autism affects nearly one out of every 110 children, according to America's Center for Disease Control. That's more children diagnosed with autism than with diabetes, cancer, and AIDS combined. Though more are people who are being diagnosed with it, autism spectrum disorder, also known as ASD, is still a mystery with no known cause and little formal treatments. But here's what we know so far about it. It is a bioneurological developmental disability. Individuals with autism typically have difficulties in verbal and nonverbal communication, social interactions, and leisure or play activities. It impacts the normal development of the brain in the areas of social interaction, communication skills, and cognitive function. Now, autism is diagnosed four times more often in boys than girls. It generally appears before the age of three. Uh, currently, there is no cure for autism, though with early intervention and treatment, the diverse symptoms related to autism can be greatly improved, and in some cases, completely overcome. And of course, as we commemorate Autism Awareness Month this month, we met up with 21-year-old Kimani earlier this week, who is a living, breathing example of what therapy and family support can do for someone living with ASD. Here is his story. We find Kimani washing dishes in the kitchen. It's a task many would find mundane or downright unenjoyable. But for Kimani, it is one of his favorite things to do. I don't like that at all, at all. It goes beyond just keeping things clean for Kimani. It focuses and calms his mind. He's come a long way from the early days of hyperactivity and little social interaction. His mother, Rosemary, recounts how he was a little different from other children from a very young age. He would cry a lot, but uh, he sometimes would go for hours and there was nothing we would do to soothe him. As he was growing up, eh, at around nine months, when the babies of his age would say a few words, he was still not able to say anything. He realized that he was also very hyperactive. And this hyperactivity, he would, like in the house, would climb up the wall unit, would climb up the window. At times he would uh, just take all the shoes in the house and arrange them in a line. He also did not know how to play with his toys. So now when you put him in a group of children, you can actually see he's, he's different from the others. Eh? Diagnosing children with autism spectrum disorder, or ASD, as early as possible is recommended to ensure they receive the services and support they need. ASD can sometimes be detected at 18 months, and by the age of two, a diagnosis by an experienced professional can be considered reliable. The reality is, though, many children do not receive a final diagnosis until much older. For Kimani, he was three. With the help of resources from the Autism Society of Kenya, Rosemary immediately enrolled Kimani into the autism unit at the city primary school. It is a regular school that has uh, a unit. That time the unit was very vibrant. And so our journey with autism, now in the knowledge of what was happening to our son's life, started there. Kimani credits his experience there for where he is now. Yeah. I'm so primary it was good. I, I like it. And because, because now yeah. uh, the school helped me so much. Um, the primary helped me to, to overcome these challenges. Uh, it was for them. Uh, today I'll be worse. <laughs> Uh, things are changing daily to daily. At times I was not able to talk. When he gained speech, it was such 
a milestone for that. It was so good for us because he could now be able to express himself. In addition to special school programs, therapy ranging from behavioral to developmental can help. Social relational therapy that focuses on improving social skills and building emotional bonds is crucial as well as pharmacological, using medication to treat co-occurring symptoms to help people with ASD function better. Psychological therapy helps them cope with anxiety, depression and other mental health issues. A special diet is also essential. When you're told the foods to remove, they, you ask, then what will my child be eating? Because they tell you wheat and wheat products, out. Sugar uh, and uh, milk and milk products. And then some fruits, that, like the citrus fruit, fruits that are thought to cause hyperactivity. All those food which are f offensive basically cause hyperactivity in many persons with autism. Uh, actually, as we speak, we adapted his diet. We eat what he eats. It's part of the adjustments families make to ensure their children develop at a good pace. There is a challenge, however, when children with ASD reach the teenage years and beyond. The program is very much on the, the persons when they are younger. Yes. Later, when they are grown up, there is a very big gap on that. As a result, teens and adults with ASD experience high rates of unemployment or underemployment and low participation in education beyond high school. Despite their families' hopes that they will grow to be fully independent and self-sufficient, majority continue to live with their family members or relatives. And they suffer socially as well, with limited opportunity for community or social activities. Nearly 40% spend little or no time with friends, according to surveys. Kimani, however, finished high school and completed a certificate in agriculture. He has hopes to eventually run his own business and become more self-reliant and hopes his story serves as an encouragement to other children with ASD. The child who is younger than me, who has the, the same condition, I can encourage them that they, they can overcome. And one thing is that God is, will be them, so God will open doors for them. Yeah. It's a message he will keep spreading to ensure more children with ASD are given an opportunity to live to their full potential. Victoria Rubadiri, Citizen TV. Now, as the Muslims around the world continue to